I brought you the gun. See anything down there? Any trace of the others? Sorry, but it's kind of dark down there, and we were under pressure. The bugs were everywhere, so no, I didn't see anything. Shit. Think we're gonna have to send out a patrol. We can't leave those guys lying around in the tunnels. Too bad about the reward. Come on, get out of here. Prisoner. I'm guessing you heard about what's happening with the dogs. They look sick, and I don't know if there's a doctor around here. We got a male nurse, of course. Well, he could be a doctor, as far as I know. He's at the sand bath just now. Some of the new arrivals seem a bit ripe. Ah, didn't think of him. Thanks. Wasn't easy. I'm not that good with electricity, but I think I found the transformer. I could show it to you. Apparently, you just have to cut the current there to remove the security breaker from the train. Thanks to you, we should be able to pull off this escape when the time comes. All we have to do is get into the power plant. Thanks. I tried my best. You did the job. Better you should come with me now. We got lots of things to do if we want to pull this escape off. I'll do my best to help you. We have to pick up the weapons I stashed, get some water, and get the mutants to revolt. The mutants? What for? It'll be a great diversion. So, if you're ready, let's go. There's a serious problem with the dogs. They're all going crazy and attacking anything that moves. Ah, I have the feeling there'll soon be more visits to the infirmary. And if people can get it, it could get serious. You think there could be a cure? I have no idea. I'm not a vet. And you're taking a huge risk if it's contagious. I'll try and find a vet, with a bit of luck. Thanks, Doc. Hey, buddy. You've seen a thing or two, right? You know if there's a vet in the camp? Ah, haven't heard that for a while. Yeah, I'm a vet, and I got stuck in front of the oven. So what? What do you want a vet for, eh? I don't know, maybe you heard. The dogs are going crazy and attacking everyone. There's these strange white patches on their bodies. Shit. Okay. I'll need samples of the patches, and their saliva, too. And with what we got here to do the analysis with, uh, I'll need some materials. I'll go see the dog master. With a bit of luck, I'll be able to take some samples. Well, the doc said people might be able to get it. The doc doesn't know anything about animals. I understand why he's worried, but still, to each his job. 
If you bring me the samples, I should be able to put together a cure. All right, I'll bring you the samples. or you'll get it. Huh. Easier to train than a dog. Yeah, but lots more disgusting. Rather have a dog by far. What's going on here? Hey, it's all right, Roy. We're just teasing the animal a bit. We're bored out of our skulls. That the rebel they were talking about? No. This idiot doesn't know a thing. I don't think he'd even recognize his own mother. The mutants are, uh, kind of on edge right now. The guards better not think we threw oil on the fire. Huh? The guards should just do their jobs and keep an eye on their herd. Anyway, thanks a ton for ruining the fun, buddy. Come on, guys. Let's go. Roy, why did you defend the mutant? I don't like gratuitous cruelty. These guys are the descendants, or were, once, like you and me. The Doctrine says they became like that for turning their backs on God. Uh, sorry kid, but I don't believe that bullshit. I don't know why they're like that, but I'm sure there's no God behind it, and neither are they. Oh, I see your point. in a different part of the camp, but you still look stuck. Ah, no, but this camp is a real hole. A million things to repair, but no equipment. What do they take me for? A technomancer? I can't pull the parts out of my hat, and that asshole in procurement didn't follow up on my order. Apparently, the file got lost. Oh, when they see the technomancer, they shit themselves, but when it comes to working, they're nowhere to be found. What do you need? Four coils and some copper wire. Not easy finding good copper wire around here. You manage to get by, maybe you'll find some. Mike can always try. Thanks, Roy. That would really help me out. Least I can say. This time I'm right to the boss. That dickweed's not getting away with it. He doesn't really. What can I do for you, prisoner? We cleaned out the drilling well, and I'm kind of bored. Apparently, the guys who work at the cistern have it easy. You haven't been here long enough. Till now, only prisoners who've been here a long time get to work there. Jay over there is the guy who picks the team. One of the first guys here. I'm kind of bored. You got any work for me? You're the guy who gave the mechanic a hand, right? He needs you again. You should go see him. Already did. And he told me what he wants. If I understood right, a mutant attacked a guard. What happened? Just a mutant going a bit haywire. Maybe he got the dog sickness. Who knows? He hit a guard and he's been hiding since. 
Our Technomancer didn't like that too much. He said whichever of us nails him will get a promotion. And it wouldn't be a good idea for the other skin jobs to hide him. I know our Technomancer. He said he'd kill ten if we didn't find the guy. And he'll do it. Seems a bit drastic, don't you think? Better off not having a riot. I'm gonna take a look at the dust, in case I happen to find that smartass of yours. Don't particularly want to find myself in the middle of a new war. Yeah, you do that. Ah, uh, but if you find him, don't try anything. Come back and talk to me first. Been here long? A while, yeah. Got sent here real early. Before that, I was at the front, too. Then I took an arrow to the knee. An arrow? That's gonna leave a mark. Yeah. And since then, I've been a guard here. Not much happens, but at least I'm good for something. See ya. Right. Right. Why do I have the feeling that there are better uses for a rebel mutant than turning him into the guard? Sorry, I didn't introduce myself last time. The name's Prowess. So, uh, tell me. You know your way around? I got a deal for you. Yeah, and? I want to make something, but I don't actually know how to make it, or where to find the parts. Not very promising, then. Yeah, but at least I know where to find the manufacturing diagram. And where would that be? In the armory. Oh, great. Even better. Oh, come on. You don't look like the kind of guy who gives up like that. And it's a diagram of what, exactly? A weapon, of course. The exploding type, to be precise. And if you could get a hold of this plan, we just need the parts to make it. <sighs> so you in? I don't like where this is headed. I don't like that guy, either. So, you let the kid decide for you? Come on, make up your mind. You spoke about a deal, but all I hear is you asking me for a favor. What's in it for me? Well, I'll teach you to make explosives. You can make homemade bombs, take your enemies down like pins in an alley. And seeing as you're the one taking the most risk, I'll give you a bit of serum, of course. Huh. And how am I supposed to get the diagram from the armory? You know exactly where it is? I heard it was in one of the crates near the counter, so just search around there. I can distract the guard while you get the plan. All right, deal. 
Great. I'll talk to the guard to keep him busy, but you're gonna have to be fast anyway. Won't take him long before he's figured out that something's up. So go to the crates, get the plan, and get out quietly. And fast. We won't get another chance. I heard they're transferring everything in the crates. <clears throat> so, ready? We go into the armory now? I'm ready. Let's go. We're there. Right. Okay, I'll try to keep the guard talking. But hurry up. And go. Hey, I was looking for you. Give me a break. It can't have been too hard. I spent most of my time on guard here. <laughs> yeah, men are speaking. But that's why I wanted to see you. Get out of here, Prowess. This area is off limits, and I'm not supposed to talk with prisoners. But it won't take much time. It's just that, well, I was thinking you must know a lot about weapons. I mean, obviously. <laughs> Guarding the armory. And actually, back home, I mean, I mean where I live, uh... Actually, I got a hold of this pellet gun. See, <laughs> a relic. I mean, almost. And so I'm wondering how much it might be worth, you know, one of these, when I get back home. A pellet gun? You have got to be fucking kidding me. I look like I work in a flea market. Get out of here, Prowess. Talk about a bastard. Right. Did it work? You got the plan? Yeah, got it. But no thanks to your silver tongue. Nice. What's important is that it worked. Good work, Roy. And can you see the parts we need to make the bomb? Yeah, everything's marked there. I should be able to find everything in the camp without too much trouble. I'll come back and see you when I have everything. Great. That's what we'll do then. I'll wait for you here.
What do you want with me, man? Where are the mutants from? We are nearly all old. There is no new generation here. We are descendants of those who chose to exchange their souls for life. Huh. Hmm. I see. Do they talk that kind of shit in abundance, too? You doubt? And yet the Eternal Avenger has protected us and we are here. Since the turmoil we have been paying for our treason. You were born like that? Yes. As are all of the mutants in this camp. We are the descendants of the first traitors. I have never looked as you do. And I prefer it, in a way. The new generations are worse than us. They are born men and have betrayed. We inherited the fault. You seem very devout. Faith is perhaps the only thing left to us, even if it is a heavy burden to bear. I heard the announcement. I know that one of you attacked a guard. Tell me a little bit more about him. He is but one dust among many. He could no longer bear the abuse we receive, and he acted impulsively. But he acted as he saw just. I didn't realize they... Wow, he speaks really well for a dust. You know if he doesn't turn himself in, ten of your people will be executed. We are prepared to die if the sacrifice will improve the conditions of our people's lives. They treat you that bad? We're beasts, but we don't deserve the manner of treatment we receive. Even the dogs get more respect here. The prisoners avenge themselves on us. The guards mistreat us for amusement, and we can say nothing. It is not possible to continue this way. You're the one who hit the guard, huh? Why are you asking? Just tell me the truth. You don't want to piss me off, believe me. Do you really think so? I have nothing to lose. there is no longer a reason to hide the fact. What will you do with this knowledge, man? You want a better life here? I want a better life somewhere else. I suggest we put aside our differences and work together. In what manner, man? I have a feeling it's only a matter of time before the situation becomes really explosive between the guards and the dust, especially after your little outburst. The abuse we suffer is abominable. I acted through anger, and yet I believe it was truly just. I'm not judging you, so save your excuses. I'm just asking for a little time. Don't start anything until you get my signal. I'm preparing something as well, and our two plans will work a lot better if we're coordinated. <sighs> you yourself have raised a hand against the dust. What guarantee have we that you are not attempting to ensnare us? Test me. So be it. We have need of cutting tools, man. Each workshop in this camp has a toolbox which it is forbidden to touch. Bring us two of these boxes. By helping us, you shall prove your good faith. Tools, huh? I expected maybe you'd want weapons. 
The weapons you could obtain for us are too weak, man. And their disappearance would create problems for us. No. We have need of tools. With such tools, we will make weapons. Our weapons. And our destiny. Deal. I'll bring you the tools and you keep cool until you get my signal. That is the agreement. Tell me, Jay. You know if there's a way to get to the cistern? The cistern, huh? Are you thinking of something? Are you looking to stock up on water? Let's just say it's a hypothetical question. Well then, hypothetically speaking, I'll tell you. If somebody, who is not you, of course, wanted to enter the cistern, he'd need an official pass from the boss himself, or he'd get shot two yards from the entrance. And if this person wanted to go there unofficially? Well, then there's only one way. Go across the mushroom field and walk through a pack of those fucking moles. Take some balls. Of course, to do that, he'd also need a key. The kind that only the guards at the sentry post have, seeing as how the entrance has been sealed since the infestation. So that person would have to find an understanding guard, like Bob, for example. Thanks for the tips. All purely hypothetical, of course. Gotta go. See ya. Hey, Roy, what can I do for you? Actually, I... Yeah, okay. That's it. I went to see the dog master, but you already burnt the bodies of the sick animals. You're gonna have to get the samples from the dogs that are still in the camp. Fine, I'll do it. Hey, Roy, what can I do for you? Got it. Bare Knuckle King, what do you want? You don't look so good. Yeah, so you understand? I want to be alone, right? Hey, the Bare Knuckle King, 
But you don't look so good. Yeah. So you want... Hey. The... I did good work in the well, so they asked me to clean up the mushroom field, too. And you said yes right away? I hope you know what you're doing, Roy. Anyway, it's true. It's a lot quieter right now down there. Here's the keys. I dropped something personal in the cave. A memento of my parents. Pisses me off to have to leave it down there with those fucking moles. You know, I can get in trouble helping you with this. Anyway, take this note. It should get you in. But you don't look so good. Yeah. So you understand? I want to be alone, right? Hey, the bear. Been here long? Been here a while, yeah. I wasn't very good on the front, so they sent me here. It was a drilling well before, a big abundance site. But with the war, there weren't many people left to work here, of course. So they decided to make it a prisoner of war camp. Seeing as how it's a long way from the front and in the middle of nowhere, it's a good spot. For a POW camp, I guess there's worse. For us, on the other hand, it's a real pain in the ass. The mechanic's looking for reels and copper wire. Hey, listen. I don't know anything about that shit. I grew vegetables back home, so mechanics... You don't look so good. Yeah. So you understand? I want to be alone, right? Hey, Roy, what can I do for you? Gotta go.
any news? Do I need to set up a quarantine? I'm making headway, but I'm not finished yet. All right. In that case, see you later. samples you need. Hope you can find a cure. Uh, not easy to find a cure with this type of infection. But we can make a vaccine for the other dogs. Come back and see me later. All right. Bare Knuckle King. What do you want? But he don't look so good. Yeah. So you understand? What do you want with me, man? I held up my end of the deal. Here are your tools. Thank you, man. We will respect our agreement. You have aided our cause, and we will aid yours by waiting for your signal. Perfect. Continue to get ready. Won't be long. When everything on our side's in place, I'll let you know when you can start your riot. I would never have thought of organizing a dust revolt. I never gave them a second thought. I didn't realize they had a sense of injustice like ours. Whatever you think of them, you gotta remember that even a dog can turn on its master. And the dusts are a lot closer to us. I see that now. I never even bothered to try to talk to one before. I feel kind of ashamed. 